hello um, so the, the final the final component is uh, um, a web container and in my case um, I've decided to use uh, Apache Tomcat and it's, it's not really like um, there's uh, a very uh, valid uh, or important reason why I decided to pick on Tomcat 6. It's basically just a preference. Um, um, especially that these days, I mean, I could be wrong, but last time I checked the reference implementation for a servlet API is actually Glassfish, uh, which is ideally just a fork of uh, Apache Tomcat. Um, and so just like uh, most of the components that we've already installed, you notice that uh, Tomcat is fairly uh, straightforward to install. Um, I downloaded an executable and uh, the only thing I need to do is just double click it and uh, and just make sure that I, 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 I pick on uh, uh, components that I feel are going to be useful for me. And in my case, I mean, I'll just install uh, the uh, the full, uh, the full uh, uh, Tomcat uh, uh, Tomcat setup, and it's it's, it's not really like uh, the, the standard. The normal setup should be should be sufficient, but at some point, uh, I personally might want to do a, a couple of other things, and, and so I'll just install everything. Um, so the, the default values should be should be fine. Um, just make sure you. Uh, you don't forget the sort of password that you uh, that you key in here. Uh, another thing to, to be wary about is the the port numbers that you are you are using. If if at all if at all you you already have uh, uh, application software tools that are utilizing uh, any of these ports, then you might uh, want to just uh, change them to uh, values that are uh, essentially not used by any application at all. Um, Okay, so um, again, uh, it's automatically picked the, the correct uh, uh, folder where I installed Java in. Um, and uh, by default, this is fine for me because it's going in the same folder where I have uh, um, Apache and, and Marvin. And there isn't really any specific reason as to why I would want things to be this way. It's, uh, purely for consistency's sake. Um, I just want all Apache Software Foundation based tools to be in the same folder or subfolder. Okay. Um, so I'll just uh, restore it, just sit back, uh, relax and that's it. So let's uh, just try and see if uh, we'll be able to run the software. Fingers crossed. Literally. Ah, there we go. It started. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, quickly check and basically try and see if um, if my web server is running on port 8080. Ah, there we go. It works. Okay. So all seeing that we are done installing uh, all the six. Uh, uh, compulsory uh, components that are required, uh, is it the five compulsory components that are required prior to the installation process? I'll see you in the next video where uh, we'll basically uh, uh, go through to the next step.